Morning Year 6 and welcome to Wednesday's reading lesson. Can you remember that we have a theme of text this week and this week's theme is civil rights? Have you worked out what civil rights means yet? Like I said, we'll come back to it after Thursday's lesson. So today we're going to look at a song by a singer called Sam Cooke called A Change Is Gonna Come, which he released in 1963. First, we're going to read the lyrics together. So what I'd like you to do is in a minute, pause the video and go onto the YouTube link that is on your timetable and on the Hooklow website and read the lyrics along with the song by Sam Cooke. Once you've done that, come back and unpause. Welcome back. So first of all, we're going to do the quick start questions. Let's have a look at them. Find and copy one word that means city or town centre. Where was the singer born? Where is the singer asked not to hang around? And what is the singer too afraid to do? You know what to do, Year 6. Pause the video, answer the questions and then come back so we can go over the answers together. Great stuff. Let's have a look at the answers. So, find and copy one word that means city or town centre. Downtown. Two, where was the singer born? He was born by the river in a little tent. Where is the singer not asked to hang around? Asked not to hang around, sorry. The movies and downtown. And what is the singer too afraid to do? He's afraid to die. Did you get those right? Give yourself a tick. Our second question is who is the singer of this song and what has their life been like? So, we all know the singer of this song. Can you remember? It's a man called Sam Cooke. And what has their life been like? Well, we're going to look at some extracts from the text to see what if we can deduce what their life was like. Let's have a look at the first extract. It's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die because I don't know what's up there beyond the sky. So straight away, he said it here. His life's been hard. See if we can work out why his life's been hard. So he goes to the movies, he goes downtown, but someone keeps telling him, don't hang around. Oh, there have been times that I thought I couldn't last for long, but now I think I'm able to carry on. This adds to the fact his life was hard. OK, because it's been, he says there's been times that he thought he couldn't carry on. Well, he couldn't last for long, but now he thinks he's, he can carry on. So he must know that his life's hard, but he wants to continue to carry on to see if it can be better. Then I go to my brother and I say, brother, help me, please. But he winds up knocking me back down on my knees. What does this imply? It could mean that he keeps going and he's asking for help. But whoever is asking for help, he winds up, not, he winds up back down on his knees. So they aren't giving him the help he wants. Who do you think he means by my brother? Do you think he means his actual sibling? Or do you think he means a friend? What I want you to do now is pause the video and see if you can answer this question. What do you think his life's been like and why? OK, Year 6, what did you think? Let's go on to the next question. So it says here, choose some words to describe how the singer is feeling. Support your answer using evidence from the text. We don't want you to, word, to use words like happy or sad. We want you to be a bit more specific. So here, the chorus of the song is it's been a long time, it's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change going to come. Oh, yes, it will. How, how could this tell us how the singer is feeling? What words could you use? I'm going to choose the words positive and optimistic for this chorus because even though he knows it's been a long time coming and we know his life's going to be hard he's still optimistic that a change is going to come so the words optimistic and positive I'm going to choose for that what other words could you use to describe how the singer is feeling these are the verses so use these to support your answer pause the video answer the question and then come back for the next part of the lesson Welcome back, Year 6. I wonder what words you chose. I can't wait to see them. OK, this next one is about an extract from the text too. I go to the movie and I go downtown. 
Somebody keep telling me, don't hang around. What do you think this section is about? Why was somebody telling him not to hang around? To answer this question, I want you to use yesterday's learning as well. Think about the year this song was wrote and what America was going through at this time and other parts of the world too. Why is someone telling him not to hang around? Think about Rosa Parks yesterday and how everything was separate. Do you think this has got something to do with why he doesn't hang around and somebody keeps telling him not to? What do you think? Pause the video, answer the question and then join us back. So what did you think year six? I think that somebody was telling him not to hang around because he wasn't welcome there. He's a black man and I think in those times there was still segregation in certain parts of America. It could also mean that somebody keeps telling him not to hang around because it might be dangerous. If people didn't want whites and blacks to be together, it could be dangerous for him to go to places where white people were. What did you choose for your answer? Here's another extract from the song. Then I go to my brother and I say, brother, help me, please. But he winds up knocking me back down on my knees. What message here is the singer trying to get across through these lines? We looked at this a bit earlier in the lesson. He's asking for help, but he keeps getting knocked. And it says here, back down. So that means he's on his knees. He gets up to ask for help and then he's back down again on his knees. What's the message that Sam Cooke is trying to get across? Pause the video, write your answer and then come back. So I think here the singer is trying to get across that he wants help and he keeps asking for it, but he's not getting the help he needs. So another individual thinking question. What do you think is the main message of this song? Or what words and phrases make you, make you think this? Pause the video now while you write your answer to the question. Okay, so what did you think the main message of this song was? I've chosen to look at the chorus here because it's the chorus that's repeated again and again in the song. And, the and I think the main message of this is that bad things have happened in the singer's life and he knows a change is coming. He can see it because people are fighting for the rights of people. So it, here it says, I know a change is going to come. So, so this is the word or phrase that makes me think that this, this singer, this author, knows that a change is going to happen. So the main message is, even though something bad is happening, something good is going to come out of it in the end. So today's solo task is this. Do people all over the world have the same rights? Why? Should they have the same rights and why? I want you to answer these. And again, this is your opinion. And I want you to give me examples of why you think this is or why you think it isn't. Have things changed from when Sam Cooke wrote this song? What do you think and why? And do you think all people should have equal rights? Again, why? Yes or no? I can't wait to see your opinions on this year six when I get your work back. See you all tomorrow.